in the late seventies, you created a, a one man show called Banjo Dancing. Uh, can you tell us about this a little bit? Yes, uh, thank you for asking. Well, uh, in 1975 was uh, when it, it, it actually began. It was a suge suggested to me by Ray Nordstrand, the late Ray Nordstrand, who was the president of WFMT Radio in Chicago, uh, its fine arts station. That's where Studs Terkel worked. And uh, Ray was also the um, uh, uh, publisher of Chicago Magazine. And we were doing a benefit at Second City, which is that improvisational comedy troupe. Yeah. That, yeah. And uh, I played at that. And I was doing these recitations to music. And, it, and that night, uh, we, Ray and I went out, um, dinner or something, and, and he said, you know, you ought to, you ought to do a one-man show a la, you know, Hal Holbrook. And so that was 1975. And then I kept uh, working towards that goal. And in 19... Uh, 78, I went back to Ray and said, I think I have enough material for a one-man show. And I, I asked him, where do you suggest I, you know, bring it? I had a couple of reviews and, um, from Melody Maker, New York Times, and a couple other places, and Variety, yeah. And, uh, and uh, he said, well, try the Body Politic Theater, which was the Chicago's first off-loop theater. So it was sort of a... Um, and, and you're willing to take chances on an unknown. And, and so I was booked for uh, May uh, 1979 at that theater for uh, uh, just a few weeks, uh, four weekends. And, and then, like Cinderella, I mean, my life changed overnight is what happened. And so banjo dancing ran, and I also did a second show called On the Way Home, all together about nearly 20 years of constant performing with it. And, and played a, a number of places throughout the United States and Canada, and uh, um, I don't know, I'd say like a million people went. And, wow. Yeah.